It had been talked about for years, and a lot of people fought against it. And finally, you know, uh, enough people came in and began to happen little by little by little until the rest is history. It's all torn down and gone away. So the name of this MBS project is loosely the Elkhart Black History Project. Um, and it is a way of documenting what occurred to the African-American community here in Elkhart when their neighborhood was um, systematically removed and people had to um, find a life after that. There's a totally, absolute difference between yesterday and today. It's hard to even put it into words. Some of the things that were torn down, see, you need, people need to understand, they did not only tear down the building, they tore down hope, they tore down dreams, uh, some of the things that we had, because in, in the village we had grocery stores, we had, you know, a tavern, we had uh, restaurants, all of those type of things. Even today, you look at the community in Elkhart, none of those things are there anymore. You know, these stories are passing as the generations pass. And that if these stories are allowed to pass, then something will really be lost from Elkhart. I think it was Reverend Mays who said it very clearly and explicitly that somebody needs to collect and preserve these stories. Because, you know, black people have been in Elkhart since the 1800s. So it's not like Elkhart wasn't used to seeing black people. Uh, the division came as people who came into the town and bought their own biases with them that problems began to really develop. And more widely, we really hope that people within the city as a whole um, understand what happened to people here. Uh, I don't think it's a story that's really well known. Um, and as development is happening in the South Side and in that area, uh, that perhaps this story can help change the way or have some impact on the way that that happens. And so, um, so there's a feel and there's a look. Uh, and so you don't want to have one without the other in areas that you're revitalizing. Um, and, you know, I think we're hoping that this project would get in schools, that, it'd be, that the film would be widely watched, that uh, this, this history would be part of how Elkhart tells its history. When we tell the truth about our history and the difficult parts about our history, see some transformation, we can orient our wider community towards hope. That's what I'm looking for. And so to have people um, entrust that to us is a huge deal and it will be a success if they are happy. <laughs>